I have this stinky sun pit that uh, has a, a float switch uh, that controls the pump uh, and that uh, switch uh, keeps uh, uh, breaking. I procrastinated for years to replace that switch uh, with a, a sensor. At first I thought to use a capacitive sensor. Uh, I've made a video with that uh, capacitive sensor, link here somewhere here. Then I thought to use a, a simple contact, uh, you know, stainless steel wires uh, that uh, are placed at different levels so that when the water reaches that level makes the pump, makes the pump to, to start. But uh, again, the sludge will stick uh, to the contacts, uh, making that basically useless. I, I thought to use a pressure sensor after the last uh, float switch uh, broke again i come up with the idea uh, to replace it with a simple float with potentiometer you know the one that you used in the in the tanks uh, for uh, automobiles or motorcycles and those are available on the market for a few bucks but uh, they are made of course for gasoline or diesel and uh, are not suitable for water i decided to make one myself Let's see. So this is the potentiometer I think to use. Uh, maybe... Uh, yeah, yeah. Another one, because this is the wrong value. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I have to protect the potentiometer from the water, so I need to enclose this inside a, a box, a silk box. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, to make it work, I have to, to let this shaft to go through the, the box, but at the same time I have to protect the, the water that will stop the water coming through the shaft. Uh, so I think to use this piece of rubber uh, as a gasket, and uh, so I, punch, I will punch a hole, a 5 mm hole here, which is a little bit less then the, the diameter of this shaft, which is 6.3 millimeters, or one fourth of an inch. So let's do it.
the hole is not perfectly centered or better the potentiometer is not uh, exactly at the center so it's better to make this hole wider uh, and uh, that a bit of tolerance and uh, rebuild this uh, Well, you may argue that uh, even potentiometers may fail, and that is true. But look at how it is arranged. First off, we have a controller, a kind of PLC, that uh, reads the resistance of the potentiometer every second. And uh, when the water is at its minimum level, the potentiometer's wipe uh, is uh, close to its one of its ends. Uh, and uh, so the resistance it's at its minimum minimum uh, when the water rises so uh, the um, the wipers push it away from the the end and the resistance would increase as well so when the the water rises uh, at uh, the maximum set point uh, the controller will start uh, the pump and uh, if the water continued to rise uh, uh, the wipers move the foot away from its end and the resistance would increase and uh, here um, an alarm set point could be reached and uh, the controller would trigger an alarm and because how potentiometers are made um, 
when they fail it's because uh, the wiper doesn't touch anymore the uh, resistive surface um, so opening the circuit and basically making um, making them as an infinite resistance so the controller would read as uh, if it was an, an alarm condition and would trigger the alarm on the other hand uh, the short circuit would happen only if water makes its way inside the sealed box uh, shorting the contacts of the of the potentiometer and in this case the resistance would go below the minimum level giving an opportunity to the controller to raise the alarm again after all engineering is all about uh, envisioning problems and finding solutions okay let's check if it is uh, watertight mm. oh it seems okay oh, it bubbles Clearly, it's not weather tight. Oh, no. Let's see what there. a drop of water there. So, something is in, is in the inside. Ah. And here is uh, what the final installation. It works. The, the float the rises slowly when it reaches the point, uh, the maximum set point level. Uh, it would start to pump. And here. Uh, this is a temporary pump because the actual pump uh, has not yet uh, arrived. Uh, so. okay, we go. We, so here we go. The pump is started, and now This is the minimum level. This is the uh, console panel, and that uh, this uh, controller is the uh, microcontroller here. Uh, controls the levels uh, of the pump, the alarm, and uh, the uh, procedure for setting the, the levels. Uh, Eventually, I sealed everything with uh, hot glue, uh, but in hindsight, uh, would have been better if I picked a better enclosure. It is interesting that uh, the water uh, leaked not from here, which is one of the most critical parts uh, apparently, but from here, where the sealant was not. Uh, mm, well adhering uh, to the surface of the uh, of the box hot glue is not ideal for um, sealing when uh, submerged in water but uh, i've used it for sealing pipes uh, that that has been submerged for months and uh, it was fine so i think it's good enough hey don't forget to hit the like button and uh, for today that's all folks Thanks for watching, see you next time.